Alrighty, this is Normie coming at you, man. Um, yeah, I did a video two days ago about about uh, what's going to go down, and uh, yeah, put that on a few of my uh, brothers and sisters' Facebooks, my army boys, and uh, said, take a look at this, man. But um. Yeah, I will show you what I got in my last shopping order. Alright. 10 kilo bag of rice, 20 bucks. That'd feed 10 people for a week. Alright. Tins of uh, Stag Chili Classic. Fucking, what else we got? Stag Chili Classic, baked beans, Stag Chili Dynamite hot, oh that'll get our bowels moving. Alright, look at all these tins of baked beans. Baked beans, baked beans, pasta. Alright, they, they're not letting us have um, uh, as much pasta as we want. They, uh, yeah, they've um they've um they uh, stopped us from getting heaps of pasta, so, um, yeah, so they are, and uh, they only let me have one 10 kilo bag of rice. So, uh, even the shops are uh, not letting us go ballistic and get shit. <clears throat> but I have another $400 order. Uh, $400 order worth of goods from Woolies to come in now, and um, I got shit like candles. Uh, batteries, aspirin for fevers, because fevers kill kids. And if we're going to get crooked from a virus, we're going to need it to reduce fever. And uh, any other ailments, usually viruses have fever. So plenty of aspirin. Um, we need buckets. Don't forget your buckets, man, because you're going to get water. Um... Um, yeah, torches. I bought five torches. Fucking five dollar dolphin torches that take two double A batteries. Um, yeah, uh, salt. I got like shitloads of salt because I got lots of rice. And uh, salt's good for, uh, because we'll have no refrigeration, so you can either smoke your meat or uh, salt it up. So, yeah, you got to think like that. But I, I just texted my nurse and said, hope you got tampons in your um in your bag in your bag of tricks or bullet holes uh compression bandages um a scalpel in case we have to remove bullets um uh aspirin and um needles because uh if uh if my tribe goes down with the flu i'm gonna have to inject them with Hydrogen peroxide, 33% food grade hydrogen peroxide, 12 drops in a uh, needle of water, and inject that twice a day. Within two days, the flu will be gone. But um, it's going to mutate, so that's that's what I'm worried about. I can I can nail this one, but uh, the next one, I don't. I haven't scientifically worked out how to. Uh, to do that, that's why we're getting a lot of aspirin, because uh, the fever of viruses kill kids, man. And uh, aspirin reduces fever. And if you can't, if you run out of aspirin, and there's none left, if you go on the hoard, um, you can get it out of the bark of the willow tree, and the willow tree grows around water lakes and rivers. Okay, so out of the bark of the willow tree, just crush the bark up in a pan, boil the water and then give to the person as a tincture, let it cool down and that'll have the aspirin in it but um yeah so I've, I've warned out 20, 20 army buddies and said look these are the signs to look for um, bang 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 two signs today that uh, that happened was uh, China's uh martial law they called uh where no one can leave their houses uh is slowed the flu down so 
the world will go, oh, well, that's the way to do it. And uh, they'll shut everything down, basically, and call, like, martial law. And, uh, yeah, there'll be certain rules we'll have to follow, and all those that haven't got any food are going to end up in the horde lines where the government wants them in martial law begging for food, man, just like Somalia. And, um, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, if the government had any sense, they'd uh, stop the aircraft from coming into Australia now. They'd close all airports and all ports. And uh, any ships coming in, they should quarantine. And, uh, yeah, quarantine the people that have got it if we uh, find who's got them and uh, get them all quarantined because, um, yeah, it's not the flu that I'm worried about. I can, I, hydrogen peroxide kills it. So if I can, so if I can, I'm just worried about when people panic, man, and uh, martial law is, uh, is on us and, um, yeah, it gets pretty crazy, man. It's fucking crazy, and I've I've seen where the the land was ruled by the gun in Somalia, and uh, that was one sad place to be in, man. Um, yeah, if, like if the shit goes down, and you can't get out of your house because you can't leave your house, you're not allowed to. Let's hope you got more than a fucking half a salami in the fridge. Make sure you got three hundred dollars worth of tin food and aspirin and torches and batteries and candles and fucking, yeah, get ready man, don't rely on the government, the government don't give a flying fuck about you, they never have, they never will, you're just a number, so think for yourself man, go, aha, uh -huh, that's happening around the world, France is closing down, Italy's closed, 18 million people down. Fucking Iran's closing people down. The mosques have stopped working. They're not even praying. They've given up praying. The footy fields around the world have all stopped. They're not having games. You know, and they're going to cut the aircraft out soon and you won't be able to leave the country you're in. So that's what's going to happen. Total lockdown, man. And uh, I'm getting ready for it. Like, I, I, my family are asleep. I'm the only one that's awake going, hey man, hey man, hey man, hey fucking man, some shit's about to go down. So get fucking ready, but they just watch the telly and go, oh, she'll be right. Fucking dark, I feel so fucking helpless. But I sent the warnings out, and I have the area of operations I'd like to work in with my clan, and I told certain people to get certain things like CB radio for instance <clears throat> CB radios you can talk to each other for when you're fucking on patrol and uh, the batteries you need solar panel charges to charge up the batteries for the CBs good fighting knife shit like that man tell people to go right hey, get some army boots Man, get a good jacket, get a beanie, man. Fucking get a map of the area, for fuck's sake. Pick your AO you want to work in, man. Think. Hey, eh? the one with the most guns, most food, and uh, most strategically militarised is going to win the end of the day. Because it's, uh, we're all going to go against each other, basically. Because uh, once the government get coronavirus, the army get coronavirus and the coppers get coronavirus nothing's going to be left to hold the law in the land it's going to be a lawless land so fucking trust me man after seeing Somalia I'm uh yeah yeah fucking I have to go back to Somalia man it's fucked but anyway I'll, I'm just a crazy vet man like you don't have to believe it. You can sit at home with your half a salami in the fridge at all times and go, oh, oh fucking Normie's an idiot. But once you watch people starve to death, man, it puts a fear of God into you never to starve to death or die of thirst or uh, be raped by a pack of fucking armed militia. 
So, yeah, I'm the crazy vet that went and did all that at 23 and uh, have been scared of uh, anarchy ever since, mate, especially in my country. So, um, yeah, 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 but but I make these videos not to scare you, just to go look. Hey, are you awake to this shit, man? Just look, look, look what the fuck's going down, man. It's pretty fucking crazy, man. I think they're gonna do this, this, and this. Look at the 1918 flu epidemic that killed 635 hundred thousand fucking Americans. <clears throat> Exactly the same is going to happen to the world that happened in the Spanish flu in 1918. And then it's going to mutate. Just like it did in the Spanish flu, it'll mutate. But it's going back to its original form. You know, the five, the five billion year old virus that was first on Earth. Uh, probably come off an alien space boot. And, uh, yeah, yeah, five billion years of evolving, man, and it wants to take over the planet, man. So it's, it's mutated its way right round, so it's made a full circle, and it's going to become its original form. And I do believe it won't kill the host, but you possibly could become a zombie. So get watching your zombie movies. It was my cousin that, uh, like, my family are Romanian gypsies and we're all psychics and, uh, you know, who's writing the book about the world, which psychic's the strongest. And uh, Daniel, my cousin, <coughs> has watched 20 different zombie apocalypse movies with a crazy veteran in it. And... Uh, yeah, I think Daniel's psychic abilities is one and he's writing this book. And, um, well, it's Daniel in the um, Bible anyway, the prophecies of Daniel, the end of times, revelations. Well, uh, Daniel, the prophecy, but yeah, but yeah, I'm the crazy vet in the movie, in the zombie apocalypse, so, but I'm a smart vet, so I went and got 20 other vets. So uh, we could have some real fun in a zombie apocalypse. But um, don't stress. First, first it's disease. <coughs> <coughs> then famine, then war. And uh, whoever's left of us, I dare say the aliens will come and pick us up because <coughs> we'll be immune and uh, yeah 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 so but it's all good it's just a five billion year old virus about to come out the flu one's just it's uh it's last legs you know it's like uh airborne is the the most best way to transmit or sexually Like, herpes is sexually, AIDS is sexual. <coughs> oh, fuck. Seems like I got it already. It's pretty funny. Four o'clock in the morning, I'll pull a bog and cough my fucking hole up. I swear the lady next door thinks I've got emphysema and lung cancer. <sighs> yeah, so, so I'm not freaking out, man. I'm just going, look, shit's going down, man. It's like, uh, it's, if, if we're all on a boat and I popped up and said, Man, downstairs there's a hole in the fucking hole, man, and water's coming in, right? And then everyone goes, yeah, yeah, whatever, Normie. And then the boat fills up full of water. No one goes down there and plugs the hole, and uh, we sink. So, um, here, I'll play you a song. 
Alright? This is for all you asleep people. Okay? Okay, I'll play your song for all the sleep people. <coughs> this is a doozy of a song. It came out in the 80s, I think. Oh, I'm going to Bop, 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 mm, bop, bop. We'd sit and sail, Lisa Nim. Nobody has ever returned. You're gonna pay tomorrow. You're gonna pay tomorrow. Save me, save me from tomorrow. The sail with the ship of fools. No. From tomorrow ooh, ooh, ooh. to sail with this ship of fools. No, hi, cool song, eh? But wake the fuck up, man. The world's changing, and you better evolve too. Otherwise, you're gonna die.